Well, unfortunately, I didn't have a steady hand and ended up shoving the socket just a little bit to the side, which pushed a bunch of those uh, resistors in there out of their positions. I'm going to try to replace those, but as of right now, this was not successful. I was able to get the socket loose, um, but there's no point to putting the new socket on unless these are in, in a good position. So that may be the end of this series. Maybe I'll try it again with another motherboard. Uh, post in the comments what you think should happen next. Okay, so here we are back after uh, giving that a try. I was able to get the socket off of the motherboard. After some effort, set it to about 250 and the temperature in the reflow area was about 150 because I have that extra space in between the reflow uh, platform and the motherboard. Because remember I added some, some spacers under there so I didn't have anything sitting directly on uh, soldered components on the bottom. So unfortunately that caused the temperature to be unreliable. I increased the temperature to a point where I believed it was maybe too high um, and then I was too forceful with the tweezers and trying to grab it off and ended up pushing it into those resistors that are in the center of the socket. That pushed all of those to the side and uh, made it pretty much so it wasn't going to be usable. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to use this motherboard to replace the socket but I was able to get some practice out of it and truth be told this this is the first time doing something like this and if that's where I am right now that's fine and I'll try it again and maybe it'll work out next time. I did take the opportunity to clean up the socket and we'll cut to a close-up of that but it looks okay and I did notice a couple other things though. There's a couple traces that actually came loose. I don't know if that came loose because of um, the way I removed the socket. Maybe I pulled on it, pushed on it too hard. When it was loose it may not have been desoldered in all of the all of the locations on the board, all of the pins. Um, so that could have been an issue and that was about it. There was a couple uh, couple, couple places that looked like they maybe didn't have a solder joint there anymore. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I used this iFixit toolkit that I bought for myself. Um, see iFixit Pro. I was able to use the tweezers out of it. Uh, but that's pretty much all I used for this project. Now the next steps would have been if I was able to get this completed is once this is off this is all cleaned up like it is now using uh, some solder wick and some flux to get all of the remaining solder off of there. If you've got a socket that's reballed already it should kind of sit right in place and once you get it hot enough the solder should suck into the little sockets and that'll hold it in place. You just have to get it pretty much close and it should fall right into where it should go. And you can actually kind of feel it if you did a good job getting the solder off the board. Uh, once you do that, then you should be good to go. You hit, heat it back up on the bottom to about 200 degrees, hit it with the heat on the top to about 250 and it should just fall right into place, theoretically. Um, in this case I won't get to try it but maybe I'll find another cheap motherboard online or look for one that's already damaged. Uh, for now that's all I have. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.